Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you all know, I was unavailable last week to make any videos, so I thought today's video would kind of be a catch up. Now I can't cover everything that happened last week, but I'm going to try to hit some of the bigger highlights. But before we get started, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so we can keep you up to date with all the latest gaming news. Now let's get started. First, I'm going to start with a topic that I usually end my week out on, and that's the latest Famitsu sales. So let's take a look here at the software sales. As you can see here, the entire top 10 is all Nintendo Switch games, and we have a Demon Slayer game coming in in first place, followed by Nintendo Switch Sports, then Mario Strikers Battle League, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Minecraft, and then we have a new entry, Overlord Escape from Nazarick, and then we have Ring Fit Adventure, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and then finally Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now Overlord Escape from Nazarick is a 2D Metroidvania style game and doesn't have many reviews on Metacritic. There's just one for the PC review it mixed and one user review gives it a negative review. Now probably one of the more interesting stories coming out of the Famitsu sales is over on the hardware side. We have the Switch family of systems coming in the top three spots, but then at number four and five we have the Xbox Series S and the Xbox Series X. Now the PlayStation 5 disc version comes in at sixth place, and in seventh place is the digital edition, and then followed by the 2DS LL and the PlayStation 4. Now the PS5 disc version only sold just over 2300 units and that's way down from what it normally sells. Just for an example, two weeks ago the PS5 disc version sold about 25,000 units. So obviously Sony's been hampered by supply issues and they seem to do this where they kind of have waning weeks and then they'll have more of a surplus a week or two later. So I don't expect this trend to continue, but it is always an interesting note to see that both Xbox Series systems beat both PlayStation 5 systems in Japan this week. And of course, it's another week, so it's going to be another set of rumors for a Nintendo Direct. Now last week we did get a Direct that was focused on Xenoblade Chronicles 3, so if you're interested in finding out more about that game, I suggest you go watch it. It's a little over 20 minutes, it won't take you very long. And many people thought because we've got that Xenoblade Chronicle 3 Direct that we would not see a general Direct. Well we have this headline here from Nintendo Life. Rumor downtime for my Nintendo store could point to a Direct next week. Now if you remember a few weeks back we had a pretty confident statement from Sony Santa Monica writer Alana Pierce saying that we would have a Direct on June 29th. Well, we have a little more information to go along confirming that. Adding fire to the rumor, it looks like the My Nintendo store for the UK will be undergoing planned maintenance from Monday, June 27th to Wednesday, June 29th, meaning the website will be inaccessible during this time. So of course many people suspect that this could be a time when they're loading in games that might be shadow dropped or maybe available for pre-order. Now, the day this video is coming out is the 27th, and that's of course in the US, so it could be shifted maybe over to the 28th for the US, but at least at the time of recording this video, there's not been an announcement made, so I would expect we'll probably get that either last night or we might see something early this morning. Now, if a direct gets announced either last night or right after this video comes up, I'll make sure to pin it in the comments. So look for that pinned comment and then you'll find out whether or not we know of a direct. And while I was unavailable last week, we did get a new game for the Nintendo Switch online service. We have this tweet here from Nintendo of America. Capture wild Pokemon on Pokemon Island with a camera. Pokemon Snap is coming to Nintendo Switch for Nintendo Switch Online plus Expansion Pack members on June 24th. Now Pokemon Snap was originally released in 1999 for the Nintendo 64 and it was created by HAL Laboratories 
and it's sort of this first person photography game that's on rails. So if you're familiar with games like House of the Dead, you move around automatically and then you shoot things on the screen. And in this case, you're using a camera to shoot. Now, if you've not tried this game out and you're subscribing to the expansion pack, go ahead and give it a try. And we did get a newer version of this game called New Pokemon Snap that came out early last year. And it has an okay review on Metacritic sitting at a 79, but it has a 6.9 user score. But I would at least go ahead and try to play it maybe for about half an hour and let us all know what you think in the comments below. And it looks like the person who's been leaking the PlayStation Plus lineup pretty reliably since last September has the ones that are coming up for July. Let's take a look at the list here. We have Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time for PS5 and PS4. We have The Dark Pictures Man of Median for PS4. And then Arcadeon for PS5 and PS4. Now these will be available for the Essentials tier from July 5th until August 2nd. So if you're subscribed to PlayStation Plus Essentials, go ahead and make sure you grab these and add them into your inventory. That is, of course, once they become available. And that's all we have for today. Did anything we cover catch your attention? Obviously there was a lot to go over last week and if I tried to cover all of it, this video would have been over an hour long. But let us know what you think about, say, Pokemon Snap coming to the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. Have you ever played it before, or are you looking forward to playing it for the first time? And do you think we will see a general Nintendo Direct sometime this week? Drop a comment about those topics or anything else we covered today. I want to thank you for watching, and be good.